Okay, YouTubers, we have a Sonata 2015 EDI motor Echo. Oh my god, let me try this again, I swear. Last video. Watch what I'm saying here because this is an aggravating vehicle. Turbo GDI, basic setup. Today I'm doing the compressor and a transmission flush, okay? Supposedly, it's down here in every video you watch. That's not accurate. So I took all this up just to find out. Well, here you go. So, basically, I've already got it underneath here. Here's the front of the car, if you can see. You got it from the front, okay? Go down here, and there's your transmission, okay? You have to take that off. Bolts will break. Oh, well, get over it. They're already all rusted and corroded. This is your first thing, 516 ratchet. Since nobody likes to tell you anything on here anymore. This comes loose. This right here. It is going to maybe leak, probably not because I've got my car tilted back. Make sure this is warm while you're doing it, okay? Make sure it's warm. This just cracked loose by me. Nothing coming out. That's about how you want to fill it. Careful if you fill it like this. Well, it should be something coming out, but it's not either way. This over right here, snap, snap, cracks it right off, okay? There you go. Okay, now what you want to do, this is removed. Don't lose that. It could be some metal on here. Let's see. Not much. Oh, well, this is going to be your main problem. Make sure you got it lined up. You have stuff going all over the place. So, I've already loosened it, okay? I'm not magic man. Remember that, okay? Here you go. No videos on here have this how to do it properly, but here we go. Remember, fill it up right. I think it's SPF 6, 4. I don't know. Either way, there she goes. Now, we get to try to find the fluid. And amazingly, it's not even that bad, so I don't know. But this car is not shifting in reverse, so that's a problem. Either way, I can always put, you have to pump it back into this vehicle, so we're ready for that. He is super low on fluid. I'm pretty certain about that. That is not four quarts. Now, not even close. So, you see though, this is basically what you're gonna do, okay? Now, when it's done, need to put it back but there should be some type of mess on here which i don't really see much magnets so it's pretty crazy i'm gonna check in here we'll do a second part to the video either way that helps for it to breathe so it can drain so anyway you can put this back once it's done I always put it on hand tight for now <laughs> then tighten it back down okay but you got to fill it back up there so don't smash it back oh yeah crush washer should be replaced you see that uh, it's not pertinent if it's not very bad, but I always like to replace them if you don't have it Torque it down tight. Maybe lost it permatex, but this fluid isn't even that dirty. I'm surprised Well, it's hard to see them until you actually look look but on my hands not much metal. There's no way to check these There is no dipstick. There's no way up top to get to it. That's your plug. Good luck I'll be back to show a completion video. Okay, take care There's your oil filter too. Just so you know I'm related